Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to another vlog. My name's Rachel, if you're new here. I'm so excited to be filming. I feel like I haven't filmed in a few days. I got back from Laguna Beach and kind of just took a few days off. So today is Wednesday and it is 9 30 and it's 55 degrees out it feels so nice out i got up and i went ahead and put on a workout outfit um some of my new stuff that i got from aloe when i was in laguna i think that the laguna beach vlog might be up after this vlog depending on how it works if not you would have already seen it if not it's coming so there is a laguna beach vlog but i'm excited about today back into a routine i actually leave <laughs> it's like i feel like i'm come and go but i leave town tomorrow morning um dylan has an away game at uga and i'm so excited because if you guys are new that's where i went to college um so the fact that he's like coaching for a team that's playing them it's like really kind of full circle moment i'm really excited so dylan's mom got a little airbnb house for the weekend and i'm gonna go drive down i have someone taking care of the dogs i feel like a lot of you guys are concerned about the dogs but they are always fully taken care of i promise i would not leave them if they weren't i think you forgot the service grande um pumpkin cream cold brew but could i do white mocha instead of vanilla Pumpkin cream cold brew, that's great because we're out of extra vanilla. So, oh, perfect. Pumpkin cream. Could I get a little extra ice in there? Yeah, extra eyes, anything else? That's it. One of y'all actually commented on my vlog and told me to, or maybe it was Instagram, and told me to, instead of saying, like, cold brew, two pumps of white mocha, and then add pumpkin cold foam, which is like $7.30, to just do pumpkin cream cold brew and then sub the vanilla syrup for white mocha, and it saves you like $2. So now my drink is back to like $5. And I want to hug whoever told me that because I literally, well, one, I have a piece of dog hair in my mouth. Two, I literally come every single day. So anyways, um, what was I saying? Oh, so I'm going to Athens this weekend. So I'm really excited about that. And I think that'll be fun. Dylan's whole family will be there. So it'll be fun to hang out with them. Emily's coming with me. And then my friend Jenny, which you guys know, will be there as well. So a little fun football weekend which I feel like I need I feel like the football season is flying by we're already halfway there because I think they're three and three so yeah six games out of 12 so halfway through the season and then I think after this weekend Dylan has another bye weekend but I could be wrong so I'm really not sure I literally live week by week because I just feel like my schedule is kind of crazy but good crazy I'm so thankful to like be doing all the things I'm doing and all that fun stuff but today we're vlogging getting ready to head to Athens tomorrow getting the dogs ready um house in order all that good stuff i have some new fall things i want to show you guys i put on a workout outfit first thing this morning which i feel like i just wear athleisure every day but i got some stuff from ala like i was saying and i'm really excited about some of the pieces lululemon to me still will always trump like the really good leggings and basics for like actually working out but aloe i love for athleisure like looking cute running around doing errands and stuff so i feel like aloe has like a little bit more trendy pieces whereas lululemon has really good like high quality that will live up to working out a ton so if that makes any sense but i'll link the outfit i'm wearing this little quarter zip is so cute and then these green leggings i'm obsessed with so thanks have a good day you too. thank you i think when we get back to the house i'm gonna do a little peloton workout and then like get re ready for the day and do some content some work all that fun stuff drink is 10 out of 10 like always from the starbucks i came home to like such beautiful weather it's been chilly in the mornings and the evenings but like during the day it's like the perfect like 70 degree weather i also started the jeffrey dahmer documentary I guess it's not a documentary, I think it's more like a TV show, like it's remade about like what the situation was with him, and I started on the plane actually, I watched episode one and two, and I had to fast forward through basically most of episode one because I was so freaked out, and I'm like obsessed with, it sounds bad, but like gory scary movies, like I've always loved scary movies, and that was honestly a little bit too freaky for me, like it was actually so nuts, and I just cannot even believe that that is like a true situation. It was like freaking me out. I remember I came home and I was like one in the morning. I got home super late on like Monday night. And I remember being like, I don't think I'm gonna be able to sleep. But luckily I did because I was so tired. But anyways, um, yeah, so I was watching that last night and Dylan came home and he started watching it with me and it was just like scary.
You guys, Rue grows every five minutes. I'm not really sure what to do about it, but hi. Just got back from Trader Joe's and a few errands. I got some new flowers for the house. I have had this thing of flowers right here, which I'm pretty sure are like still alive. I'm gonna move them up to the bathroom upstairs. I just need to change out the water. These are starting to die, like they're starting to wilt on the end, but I've had these flowers, I'm not even kidding, for probably three weeks. Trader Joe's flowers are the best and they're so affordable. So every time I go, I always pick some up, but I also got some cute little fall snack items and things like that. So I wanted to do a little grocery haul for you guys. Got some breakfast items. I got this new, I think this is new, the holiday vegetable hash and I love, um, doing like sweet potato mushrooms all that over an egg in the morning with like some potatoes. It's so yummy So I got this nice and easy prep because it's like already all cut I got some more English muffins to go with I've been loving that apple butter that I got from Thrive Market and I actually just ran out of it So I got this fresh raspberry jam. I've been like obsessed with sweet fruity jams and butters on um, English muffins, so I got that some orange juice I mean Athens tomorrow So I just got little mini size ones. I thought I could bring one of these in the car I think this is one of their fall items that just came out the pumpkin cream cheese spread So I'm very excited to try that. I got some avocados I got them like pretty hard just because I am leaving town So I figured when I come home, they'll be ready some uh, potatoes I think we're gonna do uh, potatoes and like some type of vegetable and chicken for dinner. So I got two Chicken breast. I also picked up this cauliflower gnocchi because I've been seeing a lot of people do soup recipes with this and I thought that could be yummy. And then I got a bunch of little snacks for the road trip tomorrow. I thought I could do chili and lime. Um, these are basically like Takis but not as hot. I think that they're honestly better. And then the peanut butter filled pretzels. And then also I'm so excited about this because I had never tried these before. And then when I was in Laguna, they made a little cheese board for us and these were on there and it was so good. So I got some of these and then a little spread cheese this is one of my favorite like soft cheeses and then i got two little things for the dogs these bones i love i break them in half and i'll like give them each half of one and then these i've never tried the peanut butter flavored dog treats so we we're kind of running low on treats so i thought i would pick some of those up shower i did a little 20 minute peloton ride like literally nothing crazy but i didn't wash my hair so i just like blew it out a little bit to get the sweat out of my hair and i'm probably gonna maybe wet it a little bit and do the dyson air up on there which i want to show you guys how i've been doing my hair but i'm gonna get dressed for the day because i feel like i might go run a few errands i might go to the mall i want to go look at our house and look at a console table that i've been like eyeing um ever since i got my lamps from there a few weeks ago i've been like obsessed with looking at their stuff and they have a good sale and call me crazy but a lot of the holiday stuff is out and i just want to get ahead with holiday shopping because i remember last year there was a tree that i wanted all of the stuff like on the websites were sold out and i like had to get a real tree and all that and this year i don't think I want to do a real Christmas tree, but gonna get dressed for the day. I'm thinking like jeans or jean shorts with a like flannel shacket thing and then one of my cuts tees, which I wanted to share with you guys and thank cuts for sponsoring today's video. I am like literally obsessed with these tees. I have so many of them because I wear them literally all the time. I'm not kidding, you guys need to get these. I feel like a basic good cropped tee is something that everybody needs in their closet. You can dress it up, dress it down, wear it with joggers, parachute pants, mini skirts, silk skirts, denim skirts, like literally anything. Something in my eye. You can also like layer these really nice for fall layering and all that stuff. So I really love the cream color because I'm such a neutral girl and then the gray, but I have white, the ivory, like I showed you the black, these two. So I have like some different styles, which I'm gonna put them here on the screen. I wear small in all of their stuff and this is great for like a more flowy fit. So if you don't want something as tight, this one is really, really good. And then this one, 
me show you. Yeah, this right here is my absolute favorite style. It's the cropped version and here's the black and then I'll show you guys this is the same style but the long and I wanted to get some longer plain tees because I feel like sometimes I don't want, want my whole stomach showing and all that stuff but one of my favorite parts is how minimal the logo is. Let me find one here for you. Yeah, big fan of like just basics and not like a ton of graphics, prints or anything like that on clothing. So I love that Cuts did the graphic or like their little logo just small on the corner right here so you can still style it anyway and the logo isn't super distracting. Such high quality tees, you guys. Like the material and the fabric that they used to make these is incredible. I remember unboxing this in a few vlogs ago and this is like their shacket. I got it in a medium large. It's the woman's brushed wool shacket in orchard tan. This is so freaking cute. Anyways, if you guys want to get 15% off of your order with cuts, you guys can go to cuts.team slash Rachel A and it gets you 15% off of your purchase if you use my code Rachel A. So I'll have it here on the screen for you guys. I'll also have it linked down below, but so many good pieces on there. They also have men's. You guys know Dylan loves cuts and then their woman's line is newer, but they have like joggers. They have like new fall colors out just the whole nine yards and it's such a good basic to have in your wardrobe so check them out thank you cuts for sponsoring today's video i'm obsessed with you guys truly and i feel like i've gotten all my family and friends on these t-shirts they're so good here is the little fit i'm wearing my cuts tee this is the full length one and my one in this color that's cropped is in the wash so i'm just gonna go like this so if you didn't want to buy both you could always get the long one and so you could do multi wear sometimes i always just like this is what I do for a lot of my shirts. I'll take the very bottom and tuck it, and then it looks like it's cropped. I'm wearing the same hat because I think I'm just gonna wash my hair tonight and I just am not in the mood to do all of that right now. And then I'll show you guys how I blow it out with the air wrap. And then I'm wearing this little over shirt from Helsa Studio, and then just like some vintage black Levi's. Let me lower you guys. I got these when I lived in Colorado from a boutique called Tula Boutique. So if you guys live, in Fort Collins, check them out. They have really cute stuff, just like some vintage Levi's, and then just some socks and my work. So, a little comfy fit, but I still feel like it's cute for fall. I'm obsessed with dressing in oversized clothes, so here we are. <laughs> I'm so bad at remembering to wear my ring sometimes. I don't know why. And then I'm gonna do just these small little hoops from Daily Class. Anyways, um, for skincare, little update on my skin. I feel like my skin has been so much better. I really haven't changed anything with my skin besides the fact that, which is so crazy, because a few of you guys told me this, I stopped washing my face in the shower. I would like, I take such hot showers and then I would wash my face when I got really steamy because I thought that that was good, but apparently, it's not good for your skin. And so I've started washing my face um, after I get out of the shower with like almost cold kind of warm water. Um, so that's what I've been doing and I feel like it's been helping. I've noticed a little bit of a difference, obviously like during my time in the month and whatever my skin flares up, but like as of right now, my skin is doing pretty well. And I've just been using like, this is a um, brightening vitamin C serum from Summer Fridays. And then I did change my moisturizer to this Pharmacy Honey Halo Ultra hydrating moisturizer which i used to talk about all the time on my channel i feel like i used to be obsessed with this stuff and i started using that again so that's kind of the two products i've been doing and then at night i literally just do um, this cerave cleanser and then my moisturizer and i'm just trying to keep it really simple because i feel like the more skincare i put on my skin is not reacting to it at least for right now and i hope that that changes eventually but a lot of you guys are telling me to cut out dairy which I'm trying really hard not to do, honestly, because I don't want to become intolerant to dairy and have like not ever be able to have dairy again. Um, so I am just staying with what I know. Like before I went off of birth control, my skin was completely fine with dairy. So I feel like I don't have a dairy in, like allergy or like intolerant to dairy. So I don't know. There's so many things out there. I feel like you just gonna have to research and do what you think is best for yourself. So that's kind of what I did and I, I'm a little bit happy with my skin. I feel like it still has progress, but also I'm like almost at like that six month mark where um, I read up a lot that like hormonal acne will start clearing up around six to 12 months. Anyways, I've also been using this new perfume from Le Labo. I got this in Laguna Beach and this is like my favorite scent ever. And so I've been spraying that and it's been a nice little treat to have. And then the pumpkin Laneige, so good. 
you guys this is this is how you know i have a Laneige problem i bought the pumpkin one and then gretchen gave all of us girls one in laguna and then i have the ginger snap which whenever it comes back out for the holidays you guys have to get it it's so freaking good that's a little fit that's kind of me getting ready i already washed my face this morning um before i left the house and brushed my teeth and obviously all that stuff so just reapplying after i got out of the shower some of that vitamin c and some moisturizer so we're gonna go to the mall and bop around and just have ourselves a little day. Um, I have a video exporting right now, so I need to wait on that to finish up. And then we will be good to go. Before I head out, I'm gonna have a little lunch. I just made, I reheated up some tacos that we had last night for dinner and I just do chips at the bottom, romaine lettuce, and then I always have ranch and salsa prepped in the fridge, so I do that. And then taco meat. I used the Siete taco seasoning packet last night. It was so good, you guys. And then I do cucumbers and onion and then salt and pepper. So that's lunch today. Someone wants some. <laughs> In Crate and Barrel, and they have all of their... Christmas stuff out which is so crazy because it's literally not even Halloween yet but this gets me so excited for the holidays and I really love this garland and this wreath right here and I'm gonna wait to do holiday shopping when the time comes but look how cute this is just got back home I ran to the liquor store on my way in and I got some stuff for this week and I got Tito's for everybody. I'm just like picking up stuff for the house. There's like no way I'm drinking all this by myself. But I wanted to show you guys because this is my favorite drink last year. I picked up a bottle of this Smirnoff Kissed Caramel and I always mix it with... I need to look up the recipe because I, I might be forgetting because I can't remember if you put champagne in there or not. But you do... You put apple cider in with the caramel. Hi! And I can't remember if you do champagne or not. I need to look up the recipe, but it's so yummy. I had it all like last year for the holidays and I would do like um, a cinnamon sugar caramel like rim. So I'm going to bring stuff to make that. I thought that this was full and not open, but I think someone drank some of this. So I'm going to get a new one from Publix in the morning because I have to run to Publix and get some like beers and stuff too. Just cause we're going all weekend, we wanna like stock up before it gets craziness. Also got some peach high noons, they're my favorite flavor. Also picked up two jackets from Zara. I feel like I have a love-hate relationship with Zara. Sometimes I'm like, I love it, sometimes I hate it, but I saw these two coats and I just really loved. I have this in my cart online and I've been like thinking about it for a while and I don't have really anything like it. I got it in a size medium and I honestly had it over this little cuts tee in the store and I liked it with a short sleeve. So I thought that could be kind of a look with maybe some like sneakers or booties just because it's not super cold here yet. I think that this could be cute or even like a cropped long sleeve turtleneck but still showing some stomach. So I got this and it was kind of expensive. 119. I got a size medium. Here you guys can screenshot this if you want to try to find it on the website. I always have like a go-to trench coat for the season and I saw this one in store and I really loved the like oatmeal coloring of it and I really liked the buttons. Like the coloring of it was really cute to me and I don't have anything this color. I have a black trench coat, a plaid one, and then I have a red one, all from Zara. They do long like wool coats so nicely. What I really liked about this one was that there was no super structured shoulder pad. So I feel like I could wear this like over a workout outfit, but also dress it up. Like even with this t-shirt underneath, I feel like it's cute. So I got this again, this was pricey too. I was kind of like, damn, but I justified it as I will be wearing this coat all season long here's this tag if you guys want to screenshot that but like really cute and it's a good length also just like so many holiday things out already at the mall like gift sets all that kind of stuff holiday decor like the whole nine yards so that was kind of crazy to see i'm like it's not even halloween yet so i'm gonna go hang these two coats up in i have like a coat closet in the guest room because i need to work on switching my closets out for the seasons but 
That is not gonna be a today task. Okay, under my sink, I have a little candle stash, which is actually pretty organized underneath here, but it looks like it isn't because I don't know. Well, I do know it's like all the plumbing and stuff to make the sink work, but it's like not cute and I don't know how to cover it up because it takes up half of the underneath of the cabinet. But anyways, I'm gonna start burning a new candle. I have a bunch underneath here. I have some Bath and Body Works fall ones. And then I just got these three in from Revolve and I'm excited. Lily was talking about these and so I ordered a few of them. I'm gonna light one over by the coffee. Actually, since they're small, I'm gonna do two at once. A little mini size. I think that they have an even smaller one, but these are like perfect in case you get sick of scents quickly and they really do smell up the house. I'm gonna light one on the coffee table and then one probably in the kitchen. Kind of just prepping dinner. I'm not gonna cook it quite yet, but I just cut up a bunch of veggies. We're doing like peppers, onions, there's a bunch of broccoli down there. I'm gonna make a little homemade um, teriyaki sauce and then we're gonna do rice and chicken in the air fryer. So my Auntie Linda made this soy sauce when she was here before I left for Laguna and it's so good. It's three ingredients, really easy. I'll link the recipe below, but it's literally just one fourth cup of soy sauce, one half cup of water, you can do cornstarch to like thicken it and then you can do maple syrup or honey. I like the maple syrup option. So really, really easy. I'm just gonna mix this up and kind of just prep dinner. I feel like if I get things slowly started, dinner isn't that much of a hassle making like a healthy meal at home. Um, but doing it all at once, sometimes I'm like, it's just easier to cut up the veggies and get everything kind of all prepped. So then you can just go ahead and cook it when you're ready to eat dinner. Okay, one fourth cup of soy sauce. Puppies, Rachel, hey! Why are you talking like that? Home so early, I'm so excited. I know, what's up? I'm just making, or I'm just like oh, prepping I'm trying dinner. to get a smooth. I need to go to the grocery store because I got liquor, but I think that your mom wanted me to get beer and stuff too. I was gonna ask you to stop on your way home, but I knew you probably didn't want to. I'll go with you. To Publix? Yeah. Okay. One tablespoon of cornstarch. You literally just put it on the saucepan and it will thicken up with some heat and then I just pour it over the veggies, the chicken, the rice, like literally anything. And it's just better than having like a store-bought teriyaki sauce that's full of just added unnecessary ingredients. Is your... um? Suit and stuff already for tomorrow? Does it need My anything? suit's already at work and it's good because last week I thought I needed it but I didn't. So I brought it and I just left it there. It's clean in the thing. I just need to get my travel suit ready. Is it dirty? I don't think so. I have so much of your laundry, it just needs to be put up, but it's on top of the um, dryer. Living on the house side. That was really annoying. Don't put that in there, please. I'm not. It was so bad. No, I know, but you sometimes say that. Please don't. Do you like my new hat? Yeah. Is it cute? Yeah, you, really could, cute. you might need to tighten it a little bit. I already have it really tight. Oh, okay. No, I just need to push it down. Or maybe you just need a bigger noggin. Why? Does it look bad? It just looks big on your head. It's This is the exact same hat as the green one that I wear literally every maybe day. Maybe it's because it's really new. So you think he looks ugly? I've been walking around like this. No, I think it looks ugly. Okay. All right, so I need to run to Publix. So do you want to do that together? Hell yeah. Because I was going to make stuff to make the um, chai hey, dip. Tonight? Well, yeah, to make it for this weekend. You're not going to get to have any, but... We can make extra. So then I get to... Just unboxed a little package from Revolve. I got these really cute booties that I'm so excited about. They look so tall, but they're honestly so comfy. Comfier than honestly my flat ones. And they're by the brand, what are these? I think Tony Bianco. And I sized up really cute. I think that they're still in stock on the website. I got this beanie, which I'm obsessed with. Really cute shirt in the mail from Colt Gaia is one of my favorite brands. I think I'm gonna bring this to Athens with me tomorrow and wear it when we go to dinner on Friday night. I think we're gonna go to dinner and like go out to some bars. So 
that will be fun and then finally my favorite tank top restocked in some more sizes and colors and i got oh yeah I got um, this gray color, which I really am excited about. I wear a size small. I think they're around 69 bucks. This is my third color, and I wear it all the time, you guys, under everything. They're really good basics to have. I've already bought in this skirt once, you guys, and I had to buy it again because I left it in Hawaii by accident, so I don't have it anymore. It's my favorite skirt ever. It's by the brand Anine Bing, Anine Bing, and I got a size medium, and it's like the perfect silk mini skirt, so... It's my little haul. My favorites are always linked below. <laughs> Just got out of the shower and I'm gonna try out. I got these in the mail. I ordered them a few days ago off of Revolve. They're the Tower 28. This is the Intensive Rescue Serum. Apparently it's good for like when you have active breakouts and then this is the SOS Daily Rescue Facial Spray. And I'm trying to figure out, I think I'm gonna do the serum because I have like a few breakouts coming on. But now, oh, just got all over my shirt. Now I get nervous using new products. But, oh well, we'll see. And then I'm going to do my moisturizer, same one that I showed you guys earlier. This pharmacy honey one is so like thick and good. And I took a full shower, washed my hair, and I'm going to Dyson air wrap my hair. So I thought I would show you guys. Um, I let my hair like 60% air dry, so like I've been out of the shower for about... 30 minutes now and it was up in a little wrap like a towel hair wrap i try to let it get as dry as possible so i am using like the least amount of heat as possible i do have a small row of extensions in a lot of you guys were commenting that my hair looks super healthy but i think some people think that i took the extensions fully out but i actually actually still have some in so i also just want to try this spray for the fun of it so here we go Okay, it feels nice. I'm trying to pack for Athens and I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna wear for the game tomorrow. So I was kind of planning some outfits. I was gonna do all black because I went to Georgia. My husband coaches at Vanderbilt. So it's like, what team do I pull for? Most schools have black in their colors, but I'm like, you know what? I need to be a proud wife and I think I'm gonna wear Vanderbilt. So I got this really cute set in, but I'm gonna be vlogging tomorrow, starting up a new weekend vlog, so I'll show you guys my outfit. So make sure you're subscribed. I recently repurchased the air wrap. I got the new one and I'm obsessed with it. It's how I've been like blowing out my hair and like styling my hair. And then after like day one or two with the blowout, I'll add curls in with my curl hair. So I feel like my hair has been lasting longer than normal. Um, Came in this box. I have heard that Shark has a ear wrap type of thing, like a dupe that is much more affordable, which I honestly wish I would have learned about before buying this because it's so dang expensive for like no reason. But anyways, heat protectant around the ends of my hair. And then I take the, just the blow dry attachment and I'll roughly blow dry it. So I'm gonna do that really quick. dry I would say but it's just a little bit obviously poofy because I have naturally curly hair so I'm going to take this little attachment here which is like the brush and I find that it just like smooths out my hair and um, makes it a little bit less frizzy. I'll just section the hair and I'll go like um, up and kind of give it like a blow like that and then I'll like go down and kind of do that almost like what you would do with a Hairbrush is like what you would do with this, so. I saw a glimpse of glory, something I knew before. Right now, I can't remember what I. This is after smoothing it out. Obviously, not perfectly 
like straight, still kind of frizzy, but pretty much almost dry, just like a little bit damp. And then I will do the final step, which is the curling barrel. This is what gives your hair like the volume and the blown out look. I have never been able to be that type of person that knows how to like blow dry my hair, like a blowout look with an actual blow dryer. So this is a game changer if you learn how to use it correctly. So this is the newer one. So you just like switch it and it goes away from your face. And then if you want the other side, you do that. But lately I've been doing like every piece, every direction. So it kind of gives it like the um, messy look. It doesn't look like perfectly all like away from your face, which I honestly like this better my method would to be to go like in out in out like alternating each piece and then sometimes i'll take it from the bottom and curl it like just up and under and that gives it like a little pretty look too so i'm gonna do this and i'll show you guys what it looks like after Then after I curl it, when I let it down, I like immediately pull it out because I don't want it to be super ringlety. So I always will pull it like right out. Then came a moving picture, ball in the wall again. I'll show you what you're missing. It's just around the bend. but I always do this at nighttime because when I sleep on it, I find that it calms down and then in the morning, it's like exactly how I like it. So I'm gonna do some hair oil just to put in the ends. This is the hair oil I've been using and I absolutely love it. Jisoo, I think, and it's like honey infused. It smells really nice. And I just do like a few drops in the palm of my hand. And I don't ever put the oil at my roots because then it makes my hair look greasy, but just kind of run my fingers through it. And it is crazy as hair, but I think it's so pretty. And I feel like this is the only tool that I am able to get my hair to look like this. So in the morning, it'll be a little bit more calmed down and it's just like a really pretty blown out Hairstyle. That is my little Dyson air wrap tutorial if you, you guys were asking and I 100% think that it's worth the money. I mean, I've never had another hair tool be able to do my hair like this. I will say though I haven't tried out the shark so I don't know if that can compare. So if you guys have that comment, maybe other people will see your comment if the shark is just the same for like half the price. So that is the little hairstyle it's always so crazy and big after i do it the first time i think i'm gonna head downstairs and watch some tv one of dylan's old teammates is playing right now so we're gonna go watch him and some good old thursday night football okay i'm gonna make the this is called the medicine ball tea from starbucks but i don't have any honey but i normally just leave it out anyways because with the lemonade when you add the lemonade it's like pretty sweet so you just do like even parts lemonade even parts water but i'm just gonna steep the two um tea bags with just the water and then add the lemonade at the end this is the best kettle ever whenever i i mean i don't make tea a lot but when i do this is what I use. So I just put it in here and then I do one tea bag of each. You can buy these at Target. We about to have ourselves a little night. Oh, are we? Do you know that song? Not really. Oh, well, yes, but I don't know. God, I can't get this open. Okay, so you do one of these, which smells so good. And then 
Ooh, this is a fresh one. Does tea expire? Because these have been in here for a little bit. Probably. It does? I don't know, actually. Okay, and then one of those. Ooh, smell this one. It smells good. I know. Do you want one? Nope. Okay. You're just watching? Yep. And then you do this. And then it goes. And then I'm gonna add lemonade. Hey, Rue. Best lemonade ever if you guys have a Publix. The best lemonade ever. Show them how big you are. Big girl. Big girl. You are so cute. Steeping for 10 minutes. I have my lemonade in here. And I'm so excited. I always forget about this. And then when the weather starts dropping, I love having this at nighttime, even though it's probably not good. Wait, is there caffeine in this? Yeah. There is? Caffeine. Unless it's... Oh my God, there is caffeine in this. And I always drink it at night. Oh no, it's caffeine free. Oh. Uh, let me check. Okay, this one has caffeine, but it's like low, low level caffeine, but... Whatever, I always drink this at night. I mean, I did it all last fall and winter too, and I can go to bed, but maybe make this in the morning <laughs> if you guys make it. This candle is burning, and even though it's so small, it's been smelling up the whole house, which I love. Hey, Winnie, do you need a cool potty? She likes it when a pour tequila, cause she knows that we are. Okay. So why it takes so long sometimes? It's on it. Was it not on? It was. You just have the magic touch. What's cool about this is you can turn it off and it keeps the tea um, hot for up to like 60 minutes. So I'm just gonna turn it off and let the tea bags just like sit in there for a little bit. She's got a fancy t-shirt. She's got a real good smile. I'm still the same old creature. Guess I could stay. 